Hello everyone. Into this particular video, we will go for one of the extremely important point because it is hampering the practical part of so many participants. And on daily basis, I'm getting so many mails that what is the solution for the same. So firstly, we will understand the topic and then we will go for the solution of the same. So what is our topic? What is the solution for graphical screen painter? Firstly, we will understand. You all know we have a module pool topic. We have a ALV by object oriented programming. At that time, what we are doing? We are simply clicking on to the layout button. Screen painter will open. We will design the various layout elements. Same in case of ALV by object oriented programming. We are creating screen. We are designing the custom container. The problem is yes, so many participants are raising this concern that whenever they are clicking on to layout button, they are not getting the screen painter which I am getting. So they don't know how to become friendly with that screen painter and what is the solution for the same. So firstly, we'll see in the system and then we will see the solution for the same. Suppose I will go for any program. Suppose this is the program. Suppose I'm clicking on to the layout button. Whenever I'm clicking on to the layout button, screen painter will open. And into my system, graphical screen painter will open by default, yes. That is graphical screen painter. Suppose if I'll just close and open the program again, I think system is slow. You can go for any program, yes, where you can click on to the layout button. And extremely important, yes as it is hampering the work of so many participants whenever they are practicing. Suppose I am clicking on to the layout button. Whenever I am clicking on to layout button, it is clearly saying it is graphical screen painter. Now you can see screen painter open. This is graphical screen painter. Now so many participants, whatever the system they are using, they are not getting this graphical screen painter. What they are getting, I will show you. If I will go to utilities, I will go to settings. Suppose I am removing this checkbox, graphical layout editor. It means I am removing this checkbox. It means I will not go for graphical layout. If I will go for OK, this is what they are getting. And they will say OK. How I can design the layout here? Yes, it's difficult also because it's not graphical layout either. So in that case, what is the first try you can do from your end? You can go to utilities. You can go to settings. Go to screen painter and try to select this checkbox. Whenever you will select this checkbox, go for OK. Now you will be able to see graphical screen painter. So now I'm able to see graphical screen painter, but it is not guarantee that it will work in your system because in that case, in your system, the settings are not maintained. So in that case, what I'm always suggesting to them, try with this particular checkbox. Okay. You can just select that particular checkbox. If it is not working, connect with your system provider. The system provider will maintain the settings and you will be able to see the graphical GUI painter or graphical screen painter. Yes. Then in that case, they will again drop a mail to me. Yes. The system provider does don't know how to go for this graphical GUI or graphical screen painter. In that case, what I will do? Now I will give you one link also. You can simply share that link with your system provider and ask your system provider to maintain the entries. I will show you that link also, but it's a humble request. 
do not maintain the entries by your own these tasks needs to be done by system provider a provider or administrator the major motto of this particular video is it it with the your work will not hamper you can get the solution you can simply forward this to your system provider get the solution and you can work on the graphical screen painter suppose if i will show you that link anyways i will keep this link in the description of the video suppose i am going for this particular link if these settings are missing yes you will not be able to see the graphical screen painter suppose if i will go for this link if i will simply scroll these are the entries which needs to be maintained now we will see where these entries needs to be maintained it is clearly mentioning the path yes you need to simply go to sm59 transaction code and these all things are very critical for the system so it's a humble request do not do anything by your own you can just simply go for selecting of the checkbox if it is not working connect with your system provider suppose if i am going for sm59 transaction code we have tcp ip connection tcp ip connection you can see it's clearly mentioned eu scrp wn32 eu scrp wn32 it's for graphical screen paint we want graphical screen painter i'll just double click you need to go to logon and security it's clearly mentioned you need to go to logon and security and once you go to logon and security you can see all these things are maintained here in my system all these things are maintained that's why i am able to see graphical screen painter in your system any of the entry is missing or all entries are not maintained or some entries are missing that's why you are not able to see the graphical screen painter and so many people raise this concern so i thought the solution must be provided in the form of a video so what is the summary of this particular video into this particular video we covered one of the extremely important solution because it is hampering the work of so many people and the topic is what is the solution for graphical screen painter now whenever people are going for module pool topic whenever people are going for alv by object oriented programming whenever they are clicking on to layout button you all know whenever we are clicking on to layout button screen painter open but they are not getting the screen painter which i am getting i am getting a graphical screen painter but you are not getting a graphical screen painter and it's very difficult to design if you do not have a graphical screen painter then in that case firstly you can try one thing by your own go for utilities select the checkbox of graphical screen painter if it is working perfectly fine if it is not working in that case your system administrator or provider has the responsibility to resolve this particular issue you can connect with your system provider or responsible or responsible person if the person is saying no it's not possible then just go for the link share the link with them that please maintain the entries but it's a humble request do not do anything sm59 process by your own because of you it might hamper the system so just check with them that please maintain these entries and if possible just provide me the graphical screen painter so that i can also work in a smooth manner and it is one of the extremely important solution and yes it will help now so many people to get the graphical screen painter so that's it in this video thank you